to. I think that's totally fine. Uh, Lauren hosted me with her uh, 11 subs who are still watching. Excellent. Even at this time of day. And we will copy cards. Copy. Next. Next. Kingdom come. Next. Copied. Right. That should all be good. And the video is out. Excellent. Uh, I'm getting pretty good with the long sword. In fact, that video I haven't dropped the shield. I think it's a video after that. I stopped using the shield. And I, I actually fight Bernard with real weapons and beat him handily twice in a row. Uh, I don't think there's a mod to remove the HUD, but I could check. There's a mod that makes the uh, the world a little bit more, like, beautiful. It basically pumps the colors a little bit, makes it not so washed out. I would totally install that for YouTube, but it also crushes the blacks to make them look darker. And that is just ruined by YouTube compression, which is a real shame, because otherwise I would totally use that mod. Right. There we go. Let's do this. So, we need a new game. Create a new empire. And who should we play as? This is the part that is going to take like another hour. And that's the entire stream. Just making a race. Setting up a, setting up a game. Yeah, I mean, there is a combo you get with the longsword, which is like bottom left, stab, stab. It's just so easy to do because it's just stab, stab. So you're just like, I will hit you on the bottom left and then I'll just spam stab. Which works great. Do a rogue servitor. Could do. Uh, Interstellar domain or technological ascendancy. Yeah, I'm not sure I like the changes. I need to experience it a bit more, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not liking the influence bit so far. Because in my YouTube playthrough, I've got to a point where I'm just like... I'm just slowed down by my influence. It's just I'm sitting there going, I could build a star base. Wait for it every couple of, you know, every half year. Build another star base every half year. Build another star base. Not really doing anything in the meantime. Uh, hive mind. Is this vanilla or modded? It is vanilla at the moment. I haven't actually modded it yet for this uh, this update. I could, but I haven't yet. In fact, I'm going to, we could, we could live modding with E. Let's go have a look. What people playing at the moment? Yeah. How's the workshop? Hello, Primark. Who is the best Primark? I would I would say Magnus actually, but he was kind of a. Eh. Iron Man was pretty cool. Uh. None of these stand out as, like, mods I desperately need to get just yet. There are some nice ones for new ship types. It's quite nice. Is this updated? Might be updated. We could totally install some extra ships. Get some extra ship packs in. Oh, Rambling Brit tipped five pounds. I'm feeling the mood for making stupid money decisions. <laughs> so take my monies. Thank you very much, Rambling Brit. Thank you very much. Stupid money decisions are always fun. Uh, never make stupid money decisions. It's me saying be responsible with your monies. Hey, strategist. Does anyone know of any um, mods that I should definitely get that are updated at the moment? I don't think... I don't want anything that's just crazy overhauls. But I don't think there's anything that I super need right now other than the uh, quick dial mod, which I'm going to check if that's been updated. None on the first page other than like some nice ship packs or uh, ones that I desperately need. Okay, let me, let me just share my screen and we can make a choice about what ships we're going to use. So, do, 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 do. Which one is my screen? Display capture. Right. So, we could use this, which is pretty nice. They're pretty, you know, fancy ships. Or we could use 
this? Fancy, white, pretty looking ones. Star Wars. I don't know if Star Wars is updated. And even then, I won't be using the mod. I'd only be using, like, additions from it. I don't want an overhaul. I don't know if the ships are updated. You know what? There's just so much crap. I can't be asked to looking. Quick dial mod. Quick dial. Quick dial. I like the quick dial mod. Okay. Uh, it's made speed dial. I'll just look up dial. Speed dial. Please tell me that's a 2.0 update. Thank you for updating. It is updated. Sweet. And I'm subscribed. Awesome. Tall white. Bit nice, but still a bit villainer. Trade ship mod. I'll have a quick look at trade ship mod. Automated trade. Hmm. Uh, tax, blah, 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 blah. Adds an extra mechanic. I don't want to add any extra mechanics just yet. Right. I think we'll be good. Do, do, do. 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 Do 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 bum 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 Right, we're gonna get quick dial, we'll load up one of the ship packs, or we just load up both to be honest. And then we'll have a go. Right. Bring it, Stellaris. Do 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 I kind of think it'd be quite cathartic to play Kingdom Come Deliverance on stream, but I've got that on my YouTube, so I can't really do both, because it's it's very, you know, I wouldn't want to have two of the same saves on that. Like, you're still the same person. And the intro is long. If people wanted me to play some of that, I would totally be down for it, but I think for now, uh, Stellaris would be cool. So, we're loading up. We're probably gonna get about an hour of game before I have to go. Because then I've got an RPG. Yeah, you can always get the starting retire mod. Uh, I don't think you get to pick your um, extra skill points at the beginning, though, with that mod, which is a shame. You know what I didn't do? Didn't enable the damn things, did I? My favorite sh starship design from any sci-fi... Oh, that's really tough. That is incredibly tough. 2D Galaxy. Oh, yes, please. It's been updated. Sweet. Auto survey at start. Yes, thank you. Dear God, thank you. Beautiful universe. Uh, sure, I'll enable that. Color-coded population status icons. Collection of cities. Yes, yes, yes. Dark UI. Yes. Dark UI blue buttons. We'll try it. Color coded messages. Yes, please. Uh, what else? Extra ships and stations. More projectile graphics. Multiple crises. No clustered starts. Actually, I think you need clustered starts these days, sadly. Real machine worlds. Speed dial. There we go. White ships. UI overhaul 1080p+. Plus. And I think we're good. Yeah, I've got one outdated mod, the blue one. Yeah, Firefly, I know you get auto survey fairly early on now, but it's annoying that you still have to waste a perk on it. I would just like to be able to hit auto survey. I don't understand really why that's still gated. 
I, I always disagree with that decision slightly. Yeah, the Firefly's nice, but I think I prefer the TV show. The ship only has character because it's given character. I don't think the ship by itself has the most character of any ship. It's nice, sure. I don't I don't dislike it as a as a you know design. But I don't think the design itself is like, oh my god, I need this. Could do. Yeah, I think we should do all this from the start. That's why I'm not in. Uh, so, what do you think we should do for our race? We could go exterminator, um, machine. We could go devouring swarm. You vote for tall white. Well, we'll pick it based on what race we play. Um, if we want to expand quickly. You need to have authoritarian for that plus one influence. That's the new meta, I feel. I think the the new meta has to be plus one influence for anything you can get. Anything that gives you influence is what you should go for, which is a shame. You get monthly influence from also being a gasalt consciousness, so, you know, that's fine as well. Devouring Swarm, Robots, Ravenous Horde, Authoritarian Genetic Slaver, Rodic Racing, you don't have to worry about feeding them, Exterminator. Authoritarian, Evil Tech Space Empire. It could be an Evil Tech Space Empire. A race that kills with kindness. Swarm, Swarm. Okay, let's, let's, put, a, uh, let's put a vote up, uh, a poll up. Uh, option one will be Machine Exterminator. Option two will be Swarm Exterminator. It's not called an Exterminator Swarm, but it's the same principle. Uh, and option three would be... Egalitarians get bonus influence from factions. Yeah, plus 30%. I think we are playing an authoritarian in our YouTube playthrough, so what we'll do is we'll play, like, egalitarian tech or something like that or galactarian spiritualist well like the third option has to be egalitarian so there we go third option egalitarian something or other Xenophobes pay way less influence for star bases. Yeah, that's true. Twenty percent. We could be xenophobe as well. Okay, I guess option three should be just be whatever, right? It will call it egalitarian for now since Pav's done the poll. But option three, we can we can change around, right? Option three can be effectively whatever, but it won't be. It won't not robot, not anything else like that. It's just you know. Standard race, maybe something with the xenophobe tradition. Maybe we just play a normal race that goes around and grabs all the planets. Just the old-fashioned way. We haven't done that for a while. Doesn't have to be Alagatarian. We can we can decide that later. So we're cool. We cool. Alexa, turn the kettle on. There we go. Super tech monarchy hardcore warriors. Some sort of technological monarchy? Maybe.
Right. Poll closed. It went with option one, 42%. Option two, 36. Option one, it is. Option one was robots, wasn't it? So we will be playing robot exterminators. Feudal tall. Ah, no, nobody likes playing tall. Tall is boring. You have to just be reactive to everything. That's why I don't ever play tall, because you have to be reactive. You sit there going, I can't expand, so... Oh, someone's poking me. Excellent, I can do something. Uh, that's why I always play wide. Oh, it's option three. Oh, sorry, I got it the wrong way around. Option three was 42%. Option one was 22. Okay, we're not playing robot or swarm. <gasps> Shocking. I actually, I'm, I'm shocked that people don't want me to play. Okay, we're playing option three. Uh, now, chat, give me some vaguely like, just just throw some ideas at the wall here um, in terms of whether you want to play main, I'll main one of them. I won't play, you know, 100% one of them. I'll be maining it. Where we should do like, egalitarian, xenophobe, not really militarist. It needs to have, a, it needs to have a bonus to expanding, right? So egalitarian for the faction influence. Xenophobe for the Starbase influence. Spiritualist is nice, but it's more for a tall empire. Um, I don't want to do authority. I'm already doing that. Mm, yeah, so it's going to be either main egalitarian or main xenophobe. And then we can secondary as something interesting. Fan Yogg's cast, 1500 bits. Thank you very much for the bits, Fan Yogg's cast. Thank you so much. They they look pretty good in that pot right there. In fact, the pot is actually not that full. It's just full of like really good quality bits. Thank you very much, Fan Yogg's cast. Thank you for those cheers. Don't It seems vaguely split. Well, we could do Xenophobe, and Xenophobe would just not want anyone else in the Empire, right? We'd just be constantly just purging and stuff. So we would be just a, uh, um, a supremacist Empire, I guess. So let's put that to a vote. Quality over quantity. <laughs> Thank you very much for Fan cast. I completely agree. We've got the quality of bits right here. Quality of bits. I mean, I also like the quantity of bits. I mean, they're both really good, you just, if you want to fill that out with other... Anyway, um... Be Ferengi... Ferengi, what would Ferengi be? They'd be all about money. Is there's not really one about money. They kind of be I guess they would be kind of be a, like a pacifist, xenophile, egalitarian. Or maybe like fanatic egalitarian. Xenophile? I don't know. I guess they were never pacifist. Maybe they are like slightly xenophobic egalitarians. They just don't get involved. They do actually have a military. They just don't get involved. Materialists. It's it, they are materialists, but they're not materialists in the same way that uh, they're taught. They're treated in uh, Stellaris. Materialists in Stellaris are more treated as research speed and stuff. Much more like learned materialists. They're interested in materials, not they are greedy. I'm not playing pacifist. God no. Um, pacifist xenophobic. No. Yeah, okay, we're going to set up a, a poll path. If you can set up uh, egalitarian or xenophobe as the two options. I don't think there's a third. Um, yeah, I think we're happy with that. Oh, you can do pacifism, but even if you play a pacifist race, you can only use defensive wars, so you can't ever go to war, so... You can't actually play pacifism if you have an actual pacifist race, because you can only do defensive wars. I'm gonna go uh, put my tea on. I'll back in a sec.
Right. Let's see. What did we get? I mean, we could just go um, xenophobic egalitarians. That's that's more like Ferengi, really. What is that thing on my hand? This. It's uh, it's a wrist splint for carpal tunnel. Gonna check if I have carpal tunnel. Uh, egg. People want egg twice as much as they want anything else. So we're gonna go egg. There we go. An egalitarian. That will give us uh, faction influence gain and consumer goods cost, which is pretty good, actually. But we cannot have impoverished of his status of full citizen species. Allows utopian living standards. Must have democratic government. So he must be democratic when it comes to Max. Um, Bringing hated their women's. That's true, but... They don't really... The Ferengi aren't on the spectrum, right? Now, the secondary one, we could go secondary xenophobe, which will give us starbase influence cost minus 20, which is actually really nice. And you can get minus 40 if you go fanatic. Yeah, if we go fanatic xenophobe, I would do it like that. That way we can have, like, so much influence. Chat, what do you think we should do for our second? Spiritualist? We could do spiritualist. We could do a spiritualist egalitarians. It's extra unity. It's a shame because those star bases are so cheap. Um, this is strange. I'm actually playing a, like, they appear to be like a good empire. Weird. People want spiritualist? Okay, people want spiritualist. Militarist? Ah, militarist is boring. It doesn't give you anything, really. I mean, it gives you some really great combat buffs, but... Space hippies. Space hippies it is. Monthly unity plus 15. Edict cost? Nah. Core sector? Eh. Environmentalist? Eh. Building cost? Eh. Population happiness? Life seeded? Uh, nope. Meritocracy? Leader level cap? Leader pool size? That's quite nice. Mining guild? Nice. Parliamentary system? More influence? Oh, I like that. Shadow Council. Another species. Ooh. Nah, I think what we'll do is we'll start with Parliamentary System for the Faction Influence Gain, plus 25%. And then... Either we go Meritocracy or we go Beacon of Liberty. Beacon of Liberty for the Unity is great. Meritocracy for that plus one level cap and the leader pool size is really good as well. Tyler, you got this game when it came out, but you never played it. Really? Oh. Shen, hey, we have Shen in chat. Why isn't your beard the same color as your hair? What is this sorcery? Uh, it's it's illusion magic. That That is the type of sorcery it is. Unfortunately, um, you know, I'm not really particularly good at illusions yet. I'm still working on it. Uh, so I'm still debating between getting that plus 15% unity or getting a plus one leader count. Uh, I think, I think we've got to go unity, right? Because we're, we're playing as like space monks. Happy space monks. Yeah, had fun with Hoi. Yeah, Shen, Shen was in not a great place. Hope I had fun. I, I feel you, Shen. I feel you. I didn't, I didn't get to, at least I didn't get murdered horrifically. Shem was surrounded. Shem was being Manchukno in Hearts of Iron 4 in the Figure Day War we just finished. But uh, luckily, I, while somewhat surrounded, still have mostly ocean nearby. Which, surprisingly, they didn't actually try and invade by the ocean. I really thought they were going to. I just think they must have run out of time. We'll grab those two. Uh, advisor voice. Whoa. Democracy sure is an endless struggle. I may be an artificial intelligence, but I share your enthusiasm. I love her so much. Fellow organic Nothing is impossible. The blind masses must be led down the... Attention on deck. No, 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 it'll be fine. These alien savages must be taught to kneel when in the descent is forcefully... Faith manages. The Blorg are very friendly creatures. <gasps> oh, I want Tally. We need to have Tally again. I always pick, I always pick Tally. Every time. 
Space Space India, like, you know, Space India is a valid pick. Uh, what do we want? So many good options. Uh a Galaterant with space monks. Who makes a great space monk? Maybe you. Maybe the Mind Flayers. This empire lacks sufficient evilness. I mean, maybe our monk policies are like terrible. Maybe we're like really evil monks. Pants or fungoids? I don't tend to pick pants or fungoids. Let's look. Yeah, you can still be robots. I'm Commander you just look like robots. Is my store on the Shen is actually hosting now with 200 views. Thank you very much, Shen. Thank you very much. We're solitary too. We ha we have to be solitary. No, we want to want to enlighten people. We have to bring them enlightenment with superior firepower. The foxes would make. Ooh, that's a good point. The foxes would make great monks. Mammalian. Fox, yeah, they look they look monk like. We'll go with them. Species name. And Splat's hosting as well. I I am being hosted the crap out of. Thank you very much, Splat. Or pandas. Do we have pandas? A panda's a thing. I didn't think there were pandas. We don't have any pandas. You're not a panda. I'm being lied to. There are no pandas. There are no pandas here. Someone give me a good name for some monks. Space India. We could do Space India. Like, Shen is right. We could do Space India. Trash pandas. Spindia. Yeah, like the core species on the workshop need to be updated. There are so many, like so many people put a lot of effort into those. That says, I'm pretty sure there's like a whole selection of like anime ones on there that like no one has picked. Like they haven't been downloaded, so they're really low in the uh, like rankings. But if you actually go far enough down in the rankings, suddenly there's like 24 or 36 or something like there's a page of just like anime portraits. You're just like, huh, so that's where they live. Spindia. Gandhiism. Foxy McMunk. Foxy McMunkson. We could do Foxy McMunkson. That's that's the name of our species. Uh Foxy. Foxy Monk. Foxy Monk. The plural is Foxy Monks. If I could type. And then the adjective is Foxian. There we go. Uh, name list. Mm. Should download some extra name lists as well. Sure. Traits. Oh yeah, traits. I'm really liking the idea of being like really venerable and old as a species because, you know, venerable is an amazing perk. It's really expensive, but it's totally worthwhile. Uh, but it's so expensive. And then if we can have one that raises the cap on our learning as well. Talented. And we must convert all of the people. We should. Like, we, we are not racist in any way. We will accept any foreign aliens to come and join us. But they need to accept Foxy Monksism into their heart. Yeah, I had to remove the Empire name list. It's uh, it's still not in. I could probably add it back, but I deleted it. It's in my trash bin. I could get it back. Um, resettlement. Uh, resettling is so worthwhile these days because the energy cost instead of influence. Space Boat Mormonism. We are the Boat Mormons. You will follow us. I might just get rid of Venerable and just go with Long Lived. Uh... 
yeah, yeah. It's here somewhere. Where is it? There we go. Enduring. Get ourselves enduring. We could be wasteful. Like, we're, we're the monks who, like, drink and gluttonize. Gluttonize? Gluttony? We eat a lot. We're those kind of monks. And we have one point left so we could get something good. Could go intelligent. Is the goal psychic ascension? Not necessarily, but I'm definitely going to lean that way. Join us persuasively with talks or explicitly with our guns. Yeah, no, no, we could totally just persuade them. And if they can't be persuaded, then we'd be like, hi, I have a giant gun. Are you persuaded now? Yeah, let's get traditional for unity output plus 10%. I like the idea of lots of unity because unity perks are awesome. And we're going to change our name to the Boat Mormons. Um, space Boat Mormons. Uh, you can't copy paste. Damn it. Space boat Mormonism. And the space boat Mormon is our adjective. Nameless. That's fine. Um, we are the SB, the Mormon space boat, MSB. What planets would you think we'd start on? I, th I kind of like the idea of like trying out like an arid start or something. Maybe Savannah start. Yeah, Savannah start. Sure. And we start on the planet more moon. Uh, around the star more sol. That seems sensible. I pick the sensible options. Oh, those are both copies. Okay, we'll try Humanoid City. I still dig the Humanoid City. Device of voice. Empire name. Spaceboat Mormon Alliance. SMA, for short. I like to kind of dig that. I still think we need more symbols. And... Something like... that. That'll do. Ship appearance. Tall white. Because we're, we're pristine monks. Mordor. The name of our empire is Mordor. Uh, maybe we should just name one of our planets Mordor. No, not the wall. Thank you for the bits. The cup, the cup will fill. It is true. Um, I can't really fit uh, quick learners in, which is why I haven't taken the perk. Otherwise, I would ruler. Okay, our ruler is named More Door. Ruler title. The title is the uh, revered elder. No. The revered. Space Captain. Okay. That's good. And we need some sort of, like, room that looks vaguely like a monkey room. That looks like a monkey room. Not a monkey room, but a monk room. That looks good. There we go. I dig it. I can't be space. It can't be space chaplain because it's got to be captain, right? Because we're we're all about boats. It's all about space boat Mormonism. So you got to be you got to be captain of the boat. I think we'll save. Right, Space Boat Mormon Alliance. Um, I think we're good. Let's do this. 
Huge, because we can. Uh, elliptical, no. Oh, God. Spiral is actually worse these days because of the way that it... Mm, you know what? Actually, we'll play Spiral. God damn it, we'll play Spiral. Spiral 2. AI Empires, randomize, and then bring the cap up. Randomize, bring the cap up. Randomize, stay where you are. Randomize, stay where you are. Price's strength, two. Empire placement, random. Advanced neighbors off, difficulty normal. La 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 la. And we'll slightly increase the frequency of wormholes and abandoned gateways because they're new and I like them. And maybe we'll take down the. Oh, I don't take it down that far. I want to take like 0.9. Um, yeah, we'll play that. Advisor voice. Uh, we went for the xenophile because I just I dig the tally voice so much. And I should probably tweet. We need to go utopian living conditions after all egalitarians get uh, discount for consumer goods. <laughs> Thank you for the good luck, Shen. I may need it. I don't know. Actually, I'm interested, Shen. I haven't actually asked your opinion yet, but what do you think of the new change to Stellaris? I was getting a little bit bored the other day with um, just having so many minerals and so many energy and being like, I can't expand because I'm waiting on me influence. Like, I'm not sure about that one. A lot of the other stuff's really tasty, but uh, I'm interested to see what other people who've played a lot think. Um, streaming some Dolores as friendly space boat more ones. You've liked the change so far? Yeah. I think in general, like, this is really, like, a lot of good polish on it. Conversion via superior firepower. Which not really. It would help if I could spell. There we go. Actually, let's put a picture in. What pictures have we got? Is there a, is there a boat Mormon image? Please tell me there's a boat Mormon gif. That is not that is not a boat Mormon. That's an interesting gif. Thank you for that, Twitter. There we go. Lonely Island, I'm on a boat. There we go. The fleet construction window is buggy. That's yeah, no, I've encountered that. It's just like, you have zero ships. It's like, mate, I've got 16 Corvettes. But you've got zero. What? I'm gonna build you a load. Well, don't do that. Oh, bollocks. Right, let's begin. Where are we? Total Edge of the Galaxy. Connection nearby. Dead end here. Eh. Right. Fusion. Monthly Unity plus five. Because that would be so much at the beginning right now. And... Uh, or, let's say engineering. Hey, Mr. Frost. I do like our look of our empire, though. It's a pretty nice color choice. All right, more moon. Let us get a science ship. And our current science ship, if you can do automate exploration. Construction ship. A plus three. Very tasty. I'll have that. Yeah, it would be easy if you could just, like, dump units from the fleet who are unnecessary more, a little bit more easily. D&D Mechang blames me for owning Hearts of Survive 4. Complete. I don't see a problem with this. 12 Arctic, that's useless to me. And we will recruit none of you because I can't afford to. I keep forgetting that the new matter is you can't build that science ship straight away. Because you need the energy. <laughs> Fine. Pretty good starting system, though. The Scarabellian Life was the name of my empire. Uh, we are the space 
Mormon Empire. Uh, Space Mormon Alliance, that's the one. Construction Space complete. Mormons. Yeah, if you could disband and get back some resources, I do think that'd be a good change. Even oh, it's only like 30% or something. Like, even if it's only really low, it would be nice. System survey complete. All right, you've been surveyed. Construction complete. And I guess we will wait. I've got the influence, actually. We could just expand up here. How much does it cost for a starbase? A little bit more. Nope, nope. Savannah world over here. Yoink. That will be ours. Yes, it is a joke regarding the boat moments. Congratulations, it is. We will grab our... scientist. I guess I'll grab the youngest one. Why were you recruited? Uh, is it because I'm intelligent and uh, resourceful and forthright and diligent? No, it's because you're, you know, the youngest of the applicants. Oh. Oh, okay. Anomaly found. Uh, geological features are interesting. Cool. Bye, Pav. System survey complete. Bye, Mr. Frost. Completely leveled. A third geological survey reveals nothing. The only defining feature is a lack of defining features. There are depressions and elevations, yet on the whole surface, it's unnaturally flat. This is Bathyrian stone, though, so screw that. I mean, that would normally be a great feature, but Bathyrian stone. Traditions. Ooh, uh, expansion. It has been expansion. Discovery is nice. What do you think, chat? I think it has to be expansion. We can always pick Discovery later. I think Discovery's been very much nerfed now because you've got a lot less you can discover and because uh, speed's a lot lower on ships. I'm waiting for the, the Twitch lag to catch up. Expand. Expand, expand, yeah. It's expansion. Right, let's do that. We can do Harmony later, right? Harmony's not like an early pick one, though. Oh, you want a close-up of the ship models? Here's one. Here's two. Construction complete. The Thine Stone for E is like oil for the US. System Basically, yes. Complete. It's mine. If you've got it, it's now mine. You just have to deal with that. Why don't defense platforms show up on your power rating? Do they not? Anomaly found. Oh. Uh, no, failure risk 50%. We're leaving that be for now. Oh, that's odd. The Cybrex, okay. Log updated. And Anomaly you now found. have... Oh, no, you had that before. Uh, 20%. We'll try that. Remarkable. Cool. How are we doing on the planet? Uh, the extra physics would be nice. I didn't know that defense plots didn't show up as well. Oh. Debris. I'm assuming that we need a uh, skill four. Can't do it yet. 
construction. Yeah, I'm guessing that's just a small bug that they'll change soon, right? I'm, I'm not that worried about small bugs. Paradox fix them pretty quick. System survey complete. Modders fix them even quicker. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll... Oh, but I have to get this so we don't get pirates. Do you want pirates? Because this is how we get pirates. System survey complete. I'm going to manually tell you to survey that, otherwise you might go off on your own. Uh, you finished your construction queue on there. We'll start clearing out these two. Hey, Darkling! Uh, pirates level up your species. That's, that's your admirals. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we're playing as fanatic egalitarian spiritualists. Conversion through superior, fe, 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 sup, superior firepower. Convert all the peoples. Uh, and we will grab... Mm, I want to grab that. Energy. Tile blocker cleared. I could go in and manually be like, you get, one, you get one, and you get one, and you get one, and you get one. I don't even know what the difficulty is of that. I'm just like, do it. It's fine. Talking is hard. Yeah, that's true. Talking is very, very difficult. I can only do it, you know, 16 hours of the day. The other rate, it's just impossible. Native traits are sitting about. Uh, I'm not sure. I haven't seen them. I haven't seen them pop up. So I guess maybe not, updated. but I haven't seen... Oh, I need level 5. Oh, yeah. Eh. Lame. You used to get traits for having an emerald sitting around. Be like, oh, I'm slovenly or cathartic or whatever. It's not a thing anymore. Well, it might not be a thing anymore. I haven't seen them. System survey Tradition complete. available. Uh, capital bonus now produce additional unity. And then we will want additional population to start. And we want that before we finish this colony. So that's why I'm delaying that colony slightly. Fleeing aggressors. Hostiles. They are... Void Cloud! Hello, Void Cloud. Still haven't encountered you in my YouTube playthrough, I think. It's a way to choose the endgame crisis only by mods. And by mods, I mean going into the file and editing yourself. I don't know if there's a mod for that. What are you doing? I told you to do this. Unacceptable. Arid World? 24 Arid World. In fact, very nice. Uh, yes, please. I would very much like that. Yeah, no, I've seen my fleet power go red occasionally. I've got no idea why it is. I think it's meant to be that you've got uh, damaged ships in the fleet or you're maybe below strength or something, but it just seems to be random. Uh, we'll do the Habitable Worlds initiative, because there's no downside. And four energy credits for 100 minerals is like the best thing you will get. In fact, you should do that straight at the start. It's just too good to not do. Uh, building build speed is pretty nice, but I will take a plus 5% minerals. Stellaris is pretty easy to pick up. I'd say it's the System easiest of the Paradox games to pick up. I've always liked that about it. I'm gonna go grab my tea. I'll be back in a sec. Do your dance quick, I'm gonna tell you saying what's the word, word up. There we go. No riots, only conversions through superior firepower. System survey. Yeah, no, you get so many bonuses for the energy credits on 
uh, your star base is good. But, you know, anchorages also have uh, fleet academies, which add plus two to every anchorage, which is good. And yes, we will do the geometric mineral pattern thing. Construction complete. Still any more minerals, though. Also, food. Ugh, I hate food. Clear that so we can start on that, though. Construction complete. According to the report, the mission was a failure. A legend took manual control of the probe sent to retrieve something from the cluster, resulting in a collision between drone and mineral cluster that, while mild, resulted in the mineral cluster breaking apart completely. The crew is careful to note the experience has left science officer Evad de la Guardia somewhat shaken and mineral shard still be of some value. I mean, for a failure, I'll damn well take free minerals. Thank you very much. Because it means I can do this. Hi. Uh, 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 oh, this is the research world, isn't it? Habitability minus 10, happiness minus 10. Habitability minus 5, happiness minus 5. Plus 20% to physics and plus 20% to society. And it's also got alien pets. I probably wouldn't want to get that world first then, because it's very specialized. And I think you will be best landed there. And we were going to name you... Mordor Prime. Hey, Narnia. Yeah, little green pet cats. We need them for our empire, but we've got to research them first because I obviously don't know like what they eat, what the litter should be, how many things they breed. And we will build stations here as well. We encountered a renaissance civilization. Ooh. Hello. Are uh, you like desert worlds? I can dig that. Hi. We should get them on side. I wonder, what's our policies and needs at the moment? Native interference, unrestricted, native entitlement, allowed. Stays open. Species. Yeah, it's all good. Rambling Brit, now you want to play Stellaris. I mean, once my stream is over, you can. Yeah, Unity Rush is pretty good. Research but having complete. a tech at the beginning that can shot, which is plus five Unity, just it just increased my Unity by 150%. So powerful. Offworld Trading Company, uh, really good for the energy. Hydroponic Farm 2, I think, is more necessary right now, though. Fleeing aggressors. What are they? Another Void Cloud, God damn it! Tropical 22, okay. Research complete. Do both. Do all the things! Fusion power, sweet! Uh, energy grid is great, especially if you get the unity bonus from it. But research speed is what I'm going to go with now. What DLC do you need? Uh, Utopia. That's the one that I would say, like, if you're going to pick a DLC, Utopia. Beyond that, um, they're all kind of, like, vaguely good. But Utopia, I think, is the big one. Probably want to build an extra Corvette at some point. I'll tell you to go up to five, but I won't be able to build them just yet. Utopia isn't really needed anymore because many of the Ascension perks were moved to base game for two points. Were they? I didn't know they moved them. There you go. Utopia is not as needed anymore. I still maintain that Solaris isn't like EU4 where you like need certain uh, DLCs. Oh, 
Oh, are the others worth it? It depends. Like, if you pick them up in a sale, Paradox is sales on all the time. Sublight exploration probes. Before we develop faster than light, several sublight System probes were dispatched. Complete. I want to point out complete. that if we sent out sublight probes that long ago and they've got as far as here, like if your closest star is like maybe two light years, that's two, six, eight, eight light years. How did you get them that far? Seriously. If we're still only just discovered fusion power. Did we just spend a very, very long time after like rocketry, like several hundred years? The virus is cool, but has little impact on the game. Utopia allows end game. Uh, detailing every empire's race. Synthetic Dawn lets you play as robots from the start. Apocalypse lets you build titans and classes. Yeah, so like none of them are particularly necessary. I, I say personally, I really like playing as robots, but you know, that's just a, that's an extra thing. It's very much like a, you don't need that. Like if you want it, sure. Um, if you've got the money and you really like Stellaris and you play it a lot, get all the DLCs. If you're like, eh, I like it, but I don't know if I can afford them, wait for a sale. They're all still really good. They're just not like necessary to play the game, which I think is great because it allows you to play the game and be like, this game is good. All right, additional pop. And now this will start with two pops. Don't show your wiring. Maintain a human facade. Yeah. It is fine. fine. I, I am human, human like you. you. Definitely, Definitely not a robot. robot. Definitely not being replaced by Amazon Echo in Human Shell. Definitely not. Also human. I like drinking and fornicating. Anyway. Russian robot. That is true. I don't know why my uh, echo suddenly gone Russian. Construction complete. Communist robots. Communist robots are taking everything. It's true. Also, not the Russian spy. Definitely not. Therefore, <laughs> should be an advisor in the game. I, I totally maybe I could I could I could record I could record the lines and we could make a mod from it. I'm pretty sure that my community has modding potential. We could totally mod that. Uh, anyways, Chocobo, since when does E stream at this time? Uh, last couple of weeks, I had to shift my stream on Saturdays to a few hours earlier, so instead of 8 p.m., it's 2 p.m. Do it. I could totally do it. I need to figure out how to mod in the advisor stuff, but could do it. It's probably really, really easy. Stellaris is like the Clausewitz 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 the Clausewitz engine is fairly easy to mod. It's just not the most robust engine. Uh, a great day for the Space Boat Mormon Alliance. We have ourselves an extra planet that we're slowly doing. Come down here. And we'll also put I want to farm there. Anomaly found. Oh, the old fashioned outsert readings do not match, blah 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 blah. Oh yeah, we get temples, which are unity and spiritualist ethics attraction. Sweet. I forgot how awesome temples are. New community project. I mean, if if the number of lines is suitable for me to be able to do in like one long sitting, I'll do it. I'll totally do it. Depends if we've got like, I can get the time to just do all the lines in one sitting. Uh, I need to really think about up my mineral production. Now. Fifteen still isn't enough. Signs of ancient civilizations doing things and stuff. Yeah! Ammonia Biosphere. <gasps> Shocking! 
I already had a speech about this in like several episodes of like KSP and one episode of Stellaris, but yes, ammonia is another option for what you can use for a biological medium or biological base. Uh, Cyrus Refinery, you don't have the experience to do that yet. Inactive building. Yep, I know we've got inactive buildings. I'm working on it. We're going to get the bonus growth in that, I think. Anomaly found. Optical sensors, barren surface, blah, blah, blah. You'd watch me do an advisor line recording stream. Oh, I'd be terrible. I'd be like recording like several lines over and over and over again. And people would be like, well, what are you doing, mate? This is this is how recording lines go. This is like how voice actors do things. Slowly. Hey, Ray Ray Red. Most intriguing. Ooh. Plus three, plus six. This system is a six, six, three, three. That is one of the most science, not the most science I've seen, but it is one of the most science I've seen. Bye, strategist. This is how I'm forty to do things. Slowly and with lots System of tea. Yes. Also, uh, warm honey water or whatever the hell you have to use. Uh, the effective tradition cost caused by number of colonies reduced by 20%. I think we need that. But starbase influence cost also reduced. Eh, influence isn't really an issue right now. Yeah, we'll take curry network. Iron trail. <gasps> we will lead the trail to where the probes are. Encounter with aliens. Oh. Interesting. We should probably do these for the extra influence. Construction complete. Like, I've had a permanent sore throat for the last, like, two and a half weeks because I can't spend four days letting it heal. Not really good. Don't do that at home, kids. Anomaly found. Something collided with something. There's a giant crater. Funny that. Anomaly I just say hi and everyone is like, hi, I'm not even a sub. Yeah, Rare Red. It's because my community is awesome. Uh, efforts to the map, the surface of this planet. I mean, also, what do you say? Someone says hi, what do you say? Like, low? Hi. Low! Oh, no, you say hi. Ho, hi, ho. It's off to where we go with battleship. I don't know what you rhyme battleship with. We're battleship and then a kip. Hi-ho, 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 hi-ho. It's after where we go. Uh, ooh, giant skeleton. We might be able to do that. Yes, we can. Sweet. Backload stock, uh, backstock loads of videos that you can take four days off. Yeah, but even then, four days off would overlap a stream. I'm a Canuck. I just don't know it yet. I don't know. If Quill has his way, complete. he will make everyone Canuck. Special project complete. Oh, a cure order. Hello. Well met. Uh, I will reinforce the fleet. Oh, Miazilla. Hello. Salvagers, they're hailing us. Oh, dear. What do you want, alien? This probe ours. Salvage. We find first. You live now. Yes. Interrupting delicate operation. Your ship are. Must concentrate. Or if you want to probe. 100 credits. And probe yours. Good deal. Very good. You get probe. Less work for us. Everybody win. Especially us. Uh, I have the 1,089... Sure. Very good, very good. We will at least probe into your care. Maybe a bit banged up. There was accidental collision during salvage operation. Miguel fell on controls. Clumsy off. But probe still in good condition. No refund. We depart now. Whee! Probe transferred. Excellent. And we get some survey data. I do enjoy getting to do non-human voices quite a lot. Why does Paradise love me? 
Give me two uh, expansion plants, 10 and 12. Bizarre. In my YouTube playthrough, I got one starting extra planet and my other one was nearby, but the hyperlane network to get to it was... It was like uh, a dozen jumps. I'm not even remotely joking. It was it was certainly at least 10. Um, so in my YouTube playthrough, the start was interesting. Construction complete. It wasn't the best start I've had. I've had better. Uh, what I need is someone who will trade me energy, but... New frontier is established. Have a new colony. You go here for the influence, because plus three influences is going to be nice. Oh, four! Because Beacon of Liberty Spiritualist, Revered Space Captain Mordor, plus 9%. Governor, plus 4%. Traditional, plus 10%. Those are some nice buffs. We're getting 4.49. We're getting an extra 50% almost. Tasty. Yeah, increasing density helps a little bit, but I also think it then kind of defeats a little bit the purpose of the Special pipelines initially. Complete. Just let me go back to wormholes. Let me have my wormholes back. And I get extra science. This is just science central. Complete. This is great. Uh, we will move to here. System survey complete. I've got to fill them back. Mineral income is such an issue right now. Blame Logar. Yeah, Logar is to blame for everything. Got him, Logar. Grab that probe. Yeah, we've got okay choke points. But the thing is, if you're playing expansionist, your choke points don't matter very much because your choke points are you're constantly moving beyond them. Void cloud. A cloud reads the odd. Yeah, 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 yeah. It must be studied. Situation log updated. All right, how are we doing otherwise? Oh yeah, Mordor, you need to do stuff. So if you could, uh, energy credit. Um, uh, you know what? Actually, food. Getting that food expansion is going to be really useful for us. And. We'll put a temple here. Comet sided. It's a good omen. <gasps> Ooh, plus five percent happiness for five years. I'm down with that. <laughs> you may or may not got an apocalypse. Construction complete. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Special project complete. Probe recovered. We get more data. She's fine. Oh, more campaigning. Anomaly found. And we've detected another probe and you've encountered something. Situation log updated. Now go for it. Me and Josh have got you into this and did so gladly, having tons of fun. Yep, don't regret it. Oh god, what's happening? Cas is also professional. It cannot reach or find any other survey systems. Uh, because, uh, yeah, because a scientist was promoted. You've been, uh, so Kentaro Kato has been elected as revered leader of the Spaceboat Mormon Alliance. Consult the situation log for the details on their mandate. Why? Can you just say it here in this box? I don't want to have to go somewhere else to see their mandate. Also, if I could click on mandate and it would open, that'd be great. Or situation log. Um, generally, I love Stellaris and stuff, but I do think there are a couple of points where I'm like, you could improve on this. This could totally have their mandate included. I understand why they haven't, because they designed Stellaris around having um, much lower resolution screens. But that could totally be there. Mandate unfulfilled. New ruler. Need to get ourselves a new scientist. Thanks for that. Uh, you can get hired because military theory. Reduced influence cost for star bases. Okay, situation log. Miner mandate. We need to build four mining stations. That we can do. 
A mandate is now influence rather than, uh, sorry, is uh, unity rather than influence. Uh, Special Mambo Rambo. Complete. Yes, we are playing. Ooh, hello. Happiness for 20 years. I will take that. We are playing as a egalitarian or fasc uh, fascist egalitarian. I've been playing in which hallway. Uh, fanatical egalitarian spiritualist. Construction complete. And get us up on the mining station. How are we going to observe the natives? With like really big telescopes. Really big telescopes. System survey complete. Really big telescopes. Research complete. Powered exoskeleton probe recovered. System survey complete. Cancel. Hmm. It's always listening. Uh, coil gun or mining network. Uh, I say mining network because it's cheaper in terms of research. From another planet, preferably. I mean, I might try and uh, elevate them like to our level of technology and then get them into our uh, our lovely spiritualist ways. Because, you know, if they can be converted, more, more spirituality, the better. We don't have to convert them with superior firepower. We can also convert them with superior technology. And maybe get them hooked on drugs. We could just introduce them to space drugs and be like, hey, if you want the space drugs, you've got to join us. Hey, Zorozian. Zorozian. Hey, Z. It's said. I'm British. God damn it. Construction complete. <laughs> yeah, Shen's got the right idea. Space drugs. Space boats, straight space drugs. It works. Ooh. The True Democracy Group. Jesus. That is a lot of extra influence. And Damn. Found. That's a lot of extra influence. 3.1 from factions. Um, I might actually have problems trying to spend all this influence. Not for long, but for now. Research complete. Yeah, we could try and get some edicts on. That's probably a good idea. Leader experience gain, maybe. Recycling campaign, maybe. Healthcare growth. You know we need the growth speed, so yes. Healthcare. All the best healthcare. And we will grab power plant. Broken Cyberx war form. I'm guessing. Oh, no, we can do that. No, we can't. You're level one. God damn it. Wait, are you both in the same? You're both in the same system. Okay. Why are you both in the same system? Construction complete. You shouldn't be in the same system. Oh, the committee of the true gospel. Uh-oh. Okay, it's massively dropped now. What are you unhappy about? Harmonious Empire. Okay, we just need to get the harmony, uh, the harmony transition. Okay, oh, fine. Why not the map the stars edict? Because it costs influence. If it costs influence, it is now just not worth it in this new update. 
Construction complete. It's not to say that's true 100% of the time. It just happens to be true nearly all the time. Wavav... Wanavav... I'm going to call you Wakanda. In fact, I'm just going to... I'm just going to name the entire system Wakanda. Can I rename your planet? No, because you live on it. You'd be unhappy. Okay. Map the stars is too good, though. Yeah, but, like... <sighs> and most of the time isn't spent, like, surveying. Like, 25% server speed is kind of... Eh. Most of the time is spent traveling between planets because things are so slow these days. The normally discovery chance is good, though. I'll give you that. But 95 influence... Yeah, ten percent anomaly discovery is great, but special project complete. Maybe, maybe it's worth getting right now because I am just, I am bottlenecked actually, strangely right now by minerals. It won't be for long, but I am bottlenecked by minerals right now, so maybe it's worth it. Mm. Ooh, space pets! I want my space pets. Construction complete. System survey complete. Now I could grab this, which would give me the finisher. Or I could make Harmony happy. I don't really want Starbase capacity. Core system by eh. Ascension perk. Adopting this gives me grossly 25% though. Whoa. Ooh, Hoi 4 update. Ooh. Uh, I might just grab this just for the growth speed. I know I'm missing out on picking up an Ascension perk straight away, but it'll make people happy and it'll give me growth speed. And now, yep, we're getting three influence. We'll get the Ascension perk soon enough. Once we complete our mandate, we'll get a whole load of influence. Construction complete. Sweet. Aggressive observation. Indoctrination. It will cost us, but... What do they think at the moment? Like, what they're based around? They are spiritualists! <gasps> the true Mormon fox boat captain wants it to be so. We need to make them ours. Oh, it cost away too much. I'm just going to passively observe them for now, I think. Did you just hear that right? The true Mormon foxboat captain. Yep. Completely correct. No problem whatsoever. It's time to go indoctrination just to make sure they turn into egalitarians, but... I'm not sure if that's necessary. Sure, we'll do it, we'll do it. I've got the energy, so... System survey complete. System survey complete. <laughs> yes, they are all just Benson's dwarves. <laughs> Uh, why did you make me different styles of Corvette? Ah! 
we haven't got a the 1080p UI mod isn't compatible because we haven't got the thing that also makes it compatible with the dark UI mod. So uh, I probably will have to change this the next time we play. Nonetheless. You're all good. Save. Fleet Manager. You are the Dow class. Okay. What is this? What is... It just... Uh. Construction complete. Yeah, I could use a reactor upgraded. booster. That's true. What is this? Okay, finally. Okay, you need to be upgraded. That's why you're... Ships upgraded. Okay. Will you now team up again? There we go. Five out of five. I have good opinions on getting Stellaris. I don't know what you mean. I, of course I have good opinions on getting Stellaris. I really like the game. Let's grab ourselves uh, mining. Anomaly found. Do I? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, I really like the game. So. I think that's, that's pretty obvious. Uh, I only like, I only play games I kind of dig. Oh, geothermal, loads of energy. Sweet. There are some exceptions that I play games that I'm like, I want to, I like the concept of or I like the pre-builds of. And then I'm like, eh. But I don't, like, curtail my opinion. Research I pretty complete. much give you what I say. So if I'm not complaining about a game while I'm playing it, I'm probably liking it. Uh, Empire leader size, Empire leader capacity, great. Uh, Army defense damage, meh. Biolab, no. I'm going to go for that. Extra leaders. Like a certain Cthulhu-esque ship combat game. That is the one I was thinking of. It's a real shame because the combat demo was great. But for me, it was just so buggy. And honestly, I was quite uninspired by the uh, construction complete. Minor mandate fulfilled. Sweet, 150 unity. Could have been higher. That'll do. I, I was kind of uninspired by the the decision to have it instead of being proper open world, just big tiles. It felt kind of weird. But hey, maybe it'll work in the final version. I don't know, and I'm willing to be uh, proved wrong. So. I haven't System found that many bugs complete. in Kingdom Come. Like, I've certainly found bugs. I haven't found loads of bugs, like people have said. Like, oh my god, there's bugs everywhere. I haven't encountered those. Mm -hmm. Signs of an ancient civilization. Now, my issue with Kingdom Come is more based around the fact that uh, the creative designer, direct, sorry, creative director, and I think he's part owner in the company, or majority owner in the company, is a white nationalist supremacist and basically a Nazi. So... We've opened their eyes to the spiritual realm and only was there and finally something to believe in and the society's all the richer for us. Uh, for it, sorry. They will thank us one day. Like, I wouldn't play Kingdom Come uh, if, if it wasn't work. I'd probably just, you know, decide not to. Pacifist, spiritualist, spiritualist, xenophobe. Need to work on that. Keep indoctrinating. Indoctrinating. Kingdom Come is a Nazi game. I mean, Kingdom Come isn't a Nazi game, but its themes certainly uh, pervade it. Like, it was designed with several things in mind, not least the weirdly sexist attitude of the game um, in some places. But there's also, uh, like, there's a lack of anyone who's not white, which is not entirely true for medieval era on the Silk Road, because the Silk Road was kind of crazy for the time. Cyber Research Station. Updated. Like, there was a load of crap going on the Silk Road. Like, you've got people of all types. It's not necessary they should be in the game, but it's, it is noticeable that they definitely made the decision and they verbally said we are not going to include them. Like, that is noticeable.
And the thinly veiled statement of, oh, because it's not realistic, is like, no, actual historians say it's realistic. So that's bollocks. The problem with that is it's, um, it's the same thing that people hearken back. They always hearken back, right? So extremist nationalist groups will always hearken back and say, in the past, it was glorious. Look how we fall into, you know, um, depravity these days. Ev everything has gone to crap. It's all sort of depraved. It all used to be different. And, for instance, you know, you'll get uh, nationalist groups in the UK saying, oh, you know, people immigrating over here, blah, 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 what it used to be. Uh, blah, blah. And you're like, mate, you're talking about, like, First World War ever, the highest scoring fighter unit of the, the Second World sorry, Second complete. World War. Second World War was Polish. Like, mate, don't know what you want to know about. And they will always harken back to a time when, and I think that's a scary thing that the game is also maybe trying to put across, is they're like, harken back to this time when everyone was white. It's like, yeah, still wasn't the case. Very, very rarely the case. Birth of Space Piracy. Okay. That's now a thing. Where did the Space Pirates come in? I don't know. Also, there's debris over here? Oh yeah, that's the four level one. Well, we've got a fleet that we can use to respond, so... Uh, I'm gonna build extra as well. Aggressors I don't think Behemoth was on the Silk Road. Quite unlikely. Uh, actually, it was, because you would go... The Silk Road would go and sort of finish around Prague. Uh, so yeah, no, it would, it would definitely pass through Bohemia. In fact, it would pass directly through the area covered in the game. It would go straight through there. There we go. Well, it doesn't have to look like better times. It has to look like a throwback to times when whatever angle you're trying to push is like perfect. Spaceport under attack. So it's based anomaly. Situation log updated. Centered on one of our probes. Oh no! It's a void cloud. Run away. Please tell me you can run away. Yes, okay. Construction complete. We should get there in time. Alright, construction ship. We'll grab this one because it's a 24 hour world, which is tasty. And we can finally get ourselves an Ascension perk. Great, now I want to play Mass Effect. Thanks, E. I mean, if you're going to play Mass Effect, I suggest Mass Effect 3 with a load of mods. Because I still think that one of my favorite gaming experiences was playing Mass Effect 3 with a load of mods, which fixed a lot of the crap that I thought was in the original uh, Mass Effect 3. And I know we've got a member of the community here is um, uh, ME3 Diega. I think it's, I don't know how it's pronounced. So good. The modding community for that game, it's not an easy game to mod. They've done such a good job. Right, where's Consecrated Worlds? Uh, the galaxy is home to many holy places, some more obvious than others. As mortals, we tr blah, 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 blah. We get a planetary edict that lasts for 100 years and increases population happiness, increases spiritualist ethics attraction, and increases growth speed and boosts unity generation. It is so good, it's not even worth considering anything else. It costs so much influence. No, how could you do this to me? I was hoping it was changed. Ugh. God damn it. God damn it. I hate when they make games political. The new Call of Duty is the same with forcing black cap. 
Yeah, as we all know, black people did not exist until recently. Historically, oh god, no. How how dare people of color exist in the past? It's not like they were actually in the armed forces. It's just we choose to whitewash the history and forget about them in many places. System survey complete. Color people in Nazi forces, I mean. Yeah, okay, if it's color people in Nazi forces, that's just... Then again, I still find it hilarious that people complain about Wolfenstein like, how dare you? How dare you have Nazis in a game and fight Nazis in a game? It's like... You do realize the Nazis are the bad guys. Oh, but Nazis have a legitimate point of view. If your point of view consists of saying that other people should be, like, killed, then... Like, if that's the basis for your point of view, like, not even, like, that's a joke or that's a whatever. Like, if that's actually the basis of your point of view, then piss off. Like, I don't understand. That, that's just... I know for a lot of people it was like, oh, it's a funny System joke thing. It's, uh, it's amusing. But there were genuinely people feeling that. We've, we've actually got to the point where Nazis are just like, how dare you? How dare you say Nazis are bad? Stay shiny. Gyok, welcome to the Empire. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for the channel. The Nazis and French volunteers. Does that make France a bad country? I didn't say Germany was a bad country. I said that uh, Nazis were bad. There's a big difference. People are stupid when it comes to... Um, Research Populist complete. national movements. Uh, improved to factors. It's a well-known fact. People are stupid when it comes to populist national movements. People are easily complete. misled. The ad the average per I think Terry Pratchett had this exactly right. The average person is intelligent, smart, and capable of decision making. People are stupid, cowardly sheep that can be led by anyone. Individual people are very clever. People as a whole are very stupid. That's unfortunately. I don't think the Nazis got us to the moon. There was nothing about Nazism that got us to the moon. What got us to the moon is conflict. Because uh, conflict means that people pump more money into new ideas rather than repeating the same idea. Cold War did the same thing. It's, it's nothing about Nazis in particular that got us to the moon. Could have had the same thing with a war between two people of the size of loaves of bread. It's always the same way. Times of conflict, people put more money into R&D. Times of peace, people tend to just underfund R&D. It's a real shame, uh, but um, research and development tends to get a bad rep, especially in the UK. We actually don't fund it anywhere near as we should. Uh, and in the past, the UK has been very good on its uh, science funding, but not anymore. Been lagging behind. We will research Theta Aliens. Yeah, threat of imminence is a pretty good motivator for innovation. It's true. How are we doing? Can't afford to reinforce the fleet. When we can afford to reinforce the fleet, we'll go kill at Pirate Base. Yeah, I like a lot of people have been cutting science funding these days. The problem is it's often because there's a lot of populist national movements going on at the moment and often it's uh, science or science related communities that speak out against them. And the populist national movements ally themselves with the anti-science movements. Which means that they then want to underfund them or at least they want to underfund members or opponents or proponents of the opposition, which tends to mean science. And then the middle parties who tend to be the ones in power align themselves with that side. And because they're aligned with that side, they tend to pander to those policies as well, which it doesn't help. They can talk, and they want to talk to us. Oh, is this the First Nation? The Cabinetiar Commissariat? Yeah. Carab Carabinard Commissariat. You are fanatic egalitarian militarists. May the spirits bring you your goals. 
This changes everything. Hello. Plus 60. That's a non-aggression pact. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, let's go for it. How goes the Galactic Empire this far? Not bad. We're expanding. Space Boat Mormon Alliance is doing well. We're still limited by our minerals. Like, I know it's early game, but I always complain about minerals. I think new players to Stellaris, I don't know if it's changed with the new meta, always complain about their energy income. Probably it's changed with the new meta because I always find I've got stupid amounts of energy at the beginning of the game. Um, but new players always complain about energy, whereas if you're used to the game, you complain about minerals. And I've always held to that. And when I was playing multiplayer the other day with uh, Josh and Bentham, both of them were like, oh my god, my energy income's terrible. I'm like, yeah, I feel that for some reason this is really holding true. See if I can get a research agreement. Probably not yet, but it's worth a try, actually. Offer a trade deal. Will you? Oh! They would be down. What have I got to offer you? Can I just offer you, like, energy credits? Nope. Active sensor link. Yeah, I'll give you an active sensor link. Could you give me, like, minerals? Give me, like, 14 minerals. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I love how the energy buff makes secure to tech uh, almost a given for any empire. Yeah, at this point, it's just like, why would I not take the curator stuff? I mean, the artisan stuff for plus unity is also great. Like, you know, I'll take that plus unity any day. And especially when they're like, hey, uh, it's that time again. Do you want to do you want to buy some influence for energy credits? And I'm just there like, yeah, why would I not? Hmm. Outpost there. And our fleet is good. Right, let's go have a wander around and have a look for pirates. Uh, early industrial age. Hello. Yeah, art monument is also really useful. Do 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 do. I would like extra food now. Uh, I need to install a mod that's like the one that allows you to like shortcut upgrades so you can just be like, I upgrade everything by just holding a button. Fleet I like that mod. Racers. It's a good mod. Because Starbase. Yes. Thought so. You got this. A 21 hour world. I want it. I want it all. I want it all. I want it all, and I want it now. System receiving incoming transmission. Lone Alpha Wolf, 250 bits. Thank you very much, Lone Alpha Wolf. That cup is... Oh, the I'm getting hit by them. There we go. That is a full cup, ready to explode. I want a Cyrus event where you find an electric car flitting through space. That is true. That is very true. We should we should have that. I mean, I'd be surprised if Stellaris didn't add it in like the next patch. I would be surprised. The Stellaris team are also amazing geeks, so. I'm taking an education campaign because my leaves are quite long-lived. And a recycling campaign. Yeah, why not? You can't tell me what to do. Battling aggressor station. Welcome to the Empire. Stay the Chaos, welcome to the Empire. Thank you for subscribing. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoy your time with the Space Mormon boat fleet. And there we go. We have ourselves some nice loot. All right, go back and heal. We'll continue to expand. And maybe even colonize.
Chen! Donated 10 pounds, explode damn you. Damn, thank you very much, Chen. That was a nice explosion. Thank you very much. Damn. Thank you very much. Do you mean you want the cup to explode like Manchukno did yesterday? I feel a little bit bad. Only a little bit. Mm. Why do you cost 10% more? Mm, don't care. Much better. <laughs> oh. Develop new skill. Uh, investor. Sweet. Gotta check what the investor trait does. <laughs> shots fired. Yep. A lot of shots were fired at Manchuk, though. No. To be honest, I was hoping it would go a little bit more like there'd be an actual war with two sides. Welcome to the Empire. Skeletor Rancid, welcome to the Empire at tier 3, no less. Thank you for subscribing. A tier 3 sub. Damn. I believe that gives you access to my tier 3 emote. Which is so rarely used because there are so few tier 3 subs. Thank you very much, Skeletor. Um, I was really hoping it would be like a proper world war. Like France would fight Germany. So communist versus uh, monarchist. Which is, you know, thematic. People versus a monarchy. And then, you know, Japan, China, and then we'd jump in on whichever side was losing. Which probably means we'd help Japan and Manchukno versus China. And then in Europe, eh, who knows. But everyone just decided to gang up on Daniel. And I was unfortunately also there. I did, I did think about switching faction. I was like, I wonder if I should join someone else's faction. Construction complete. Have I had a look at Distant Worlds Galaxy? I've had a look at Distant Worlds, not Galaxy, though. Um, I wasn't massively impressed with a lot of the Distant Worlds initially because the updates that had bug fixes uh, were actually DLC. So you had to pay for the DLC to get the bug fixes. And I encountered a lot of bug fixes, uh, sorry, bugs that needed fixing. And at the end of the day, I was just like, I shouldn't have to pay for a bug fix to a game. So... Eh. I don't know if it's still a thing. If it's still a thing, then my opinion stays the same. Yeah, Ishra is very tasty for science, but uh, more importantly, I've got to grab this Arid World 21 before they do. That's why I'm rushing up here. Construction complete. And I'm saving influence, and if we get enough influence up, uh, because we can't spend it fast enough because of our minerals, I will just consecrate some worlds. Be like, this is a consecrated world, this is a consecrated world, this is a consecrated world. You can all be consecrated worlds. System survey complete. Failure is 5%. Receiving Ancient pre civilization. Lone Alpha Wolf, 50 bits. Ah! I'm, I just dodged into that bit because it's kind of mirrored, so I've got to dodge that way, don't I? Thank you very much, Lone Alpha Wolf. The cup is full again. What are you going to do about it? Hmm? Hmm? It's one where they sell it at 54 euros on Steam. It's a four-year-old game. Yeah, uh, they don't discount anything, but they also sell it quite a high price. I think the idea being that um, it's like a kind of... They, they assume it's a specialist game or something because they've come from a place where you initially... They initially sold it through their website uh, and through the publisher's website. But it's it's very niche. Uh, it was assumed to be very niche. So the people who heard about it and heard about the website, because, you know, Steam's got a monopoly, would go there. And those people who would go there would be already in the mindset to buy it. So they had a very high conversion rate of people buying it to people looking at it. And so they assume they can sell it at that price and that's, you know, they'll get the most money for their, their buck. Which brings me on to RPGs, which is actually a good point. Blood Angel, Veronus, hello, Enter Elysium. I've been getting into your table stuff. Uh, never done it myself, but I'm loving Shadowrun. Thank you very much. I really like Shadowrun. I don't like the system. I love the setting. I love the ideas. I don't like how they... I love the base of the system. I don't like a lot of the extra stuff. I think that uh, Catalyst have made a real pig's ear of it, to say the least. Um, also embezzlement. And the guy's still CEO. But, or C well, something. I can't remember. He's on the board. Um, but yeah, no, I really do that. There's also uh, 6pm GMT tonight and tomorrow. Two RPG shows I'm in. Um, one of which is Steampunk D&D, &D, which is tonight. And tomorrow it's Avalon, which is really drama based. I'm playing um, a student who's kind of got the spirit System of Lancelot kind of 
thing. It's it's wacky and fun and all kinds of high school drama. Uh, ancient Severex base. Excellent. You've been wanting to get into the lore. If you want to get into the lore of Shadowrun, um, the wiki. Shadowrun wiki is really, really good. Uh, it's about 95% accurate. So it's pretty on point for a fan wiki. I would say the issue with it is it does have sometimes just large chunks that are just missing. Which is a shame. Can we colonize this yet? No, any more influence. Uh, minerals. God damn it, minerals. I really just need to focus on my mineral production. Right. You. Do mineral production here. Unless you're talking about uh, a different wiki, it doesn't seem fantastic to me. I mean, it's got a lot of the events down. It's got a timeline. Automated... Oh, bloody hell. Well, we found the automated dreadnought, at least. Desert. Alpine. Hello. Yeah, no. Uh, the good stuff is only in German for Shadowrun. That's because there's a different publisher for the German products of Shadowrun. Um, because of a holdover when they sold the... Well, they lent, rented the IP out um, to Catalyst. Because uh, it's... Tops owns the IP. Um, it's rented out to Catalyst for everyone but Germany. Germany's got a different publisher and uh, creator, I think. So a lot of their stuff is from Catalyst or through Catalyst, but it's slightly different or they get extra supplements. And they get really quality stuff because the people who do stuff over there are really good quality. They know how to do editing. Catalyst just stopped doing editing because they lost a lot of their people after the investment. complete. Have you played Dark Heresy? If so, how is it? Uh, if you want to see Dark Heresy, feel free to go to youtube.com forward slash roll for it, where you can catch an entire series of Dark Heresy. Um, I love the setting. I love gemming it because I like putting my characters on knife edges and then being like, you, you pick, complete. you be Puritan, you be radical. You have to figure out where the knife edge is for each character. Uh, the system itself is not great. Uh, the issue behind that system will go after burners. The issue behind that system is that it was initially devised by Black Library, which is the publishing arm and the writing arm of um, uh, Warhammer, Warhammer uh, what are they called? Games Workshop. Um, I think they're changing the name to Warhammer now. But anyway, Games Workshop. And they then realized that they have no idea how to write an RPG system. And it was bad. And so like a few months before publishing, they went to Fantasy Flight and they said, hey, Fantasy Flight, System's you're like complete. experts on this shit. Can you help us? And Fantasy Flight went, sure. And so Fantasy Flight tried to fix the system answers. desperately. Like last minute editing, changing pages, all that kind of jazz. And what ended up happening was you got a very mishmashed first edition. Second edition, Fantasy Flight trying to change a load of things, but it wouldn't be backwards compatible with the other editions and other similar products like um, Only War. And I actually like the changes, but because the fan base complained, because fans, fans are terrible people sometimes, they rolled back the changes. And what you got with Dark Heresy 2.0 was kind of eh. I don't think it's a good system. I, I like the setting again. But I think it's a bad system. And I don't even like the basis for the system. At least with Shadowrun, I like the basis, the D6 pool idea. Because what you get when you roll multiple dice is you get a bell curve. So you know I am competent at this. There's like 8% chance that I will succeed on this test. Whereas with a flat die, like say D&D, &D, you roll D20. You've got an equal distribution all the way up and down. Construction complete. If you roll multiple dice, you get a bell curve. And the more dice you roll, the steeper the bell curve. Okay? Um, in general. It's not... When you said troop, it's close enough. Uh, honestly, I'd run a 40k themed game of Stars Without Number. That is actually an option I have floated to roll for it in the past. I said, look, I'll just write Stars Without Numbers as a 40k game. Uh, it'll take a lot of work, though, so I can't do it at the moment. But in the future, if people want to, I'll do that. But unfortunately, uh, that's how it went. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to grab this. I'll block them off. Building a new home. I would recommend watching the Dark House of Kameen. Well, there you go. Construction complete. Not from me. It's a recommendation. I've uh, shown returns. Hong Kong Dragonfall from Humble Bum. Which one of the three should I try first? Uh, Calf Drinker. 
Do you want to play them in order? If you know you're going to play all the games, play them in chronological order. If you want to play the best one first, play Dragonfall. Because as they went on, they iterated and they had some slightly better designs and they added to it. So I'd recommend it that way around. Um, you're still going. You're going to there. Then you can go up to here. We'll queue that and then we can put a thing in there. Uh, we're going to go for a mining network here because the adjacency bonus is too good to pass up. And then here we will go for a temple because temples are awesome. Food because we want growth. Energy, actually, we need to pay attention to. That's actually a thing. We'll upgrade this to a fortress just in case. Hong Kong had a better UI and UX. Really? It's been a while since I played them. I thought they got better with uh, Dragonfall. System survey complete. Yeah, they're all quite good. I'm not a massive fan of the UI concept behind it because it's kind of Research that old school complete. updated. I hate old school updated. At least it's updated nicely. Hollow Temple. Uh, yes, please. Construction complete. Oh, Hong Kong was the third. Okay, I'm getting the wrong way around. Hong Kong then. Hong Kong is the best one uh, because it's the third one. Because as they went on, they iterated the design. Uh, I would like to upgrade that. How is my tea? What, what, sorry, what's your favorite tea? Um, they still haven't agreed to sponsor me, but Yorkshire tea is the way to go. Any Yorkshireman knows Yorkshire tea. There you go. They need to sponsor me. I literally, I would, I would sell my soul for just a lifetime supply of tea bags. Super cheap. Um, yeah, screw, screw research. Give me the minerals. I'll probably only be streaming for about 10 minutes longer because I need to go away and get prepped for tonight's game uh, on Roll For It. Uh, we have, of course, our D&D game, GM'd by Stephen Lumpkin. So I do need to get prepped. I'm, I'm sorry that we started a little bit late because uh, I needed to do some stuff like King Come Deliverance, etc. Sorry about that. Yorkshire tea is really... Yeah, Yorkshire tea is... I mean, people will be like, oh, I like Twining's breakfast tea and this, that, and the other. And I'm just like, mate, I just like... just like Yorkshire tea. I'm partial to a Russian caravan when things get fancy. I mean, I guess, like, I just... I just maybe I just don't know. Maybe I just haven't been indoctrinated into the way of special teas yet, but... Uh, I like my tea. It's just... You know, simple. And now it works. Not what it does, you know? It's tea. I drink it. Tastes like tea. Tea in bags. Yuck. Oh, God. How dare we? We're connoisseurs of tea. How dare we? We need to have them not in bags. We should have them... Put the tea in... Put the tea directly into my... Into my nose. And that way I can sniff the tea. It's just... Oh, that's good tea. Yes. We don't have any tea bags. How dare we? Oh, excellent. Right. This is still upgrading. But we can get this. IV tea. Yes, put it directly into my blood. Circular Drury System tea is the best tea. Put the tea in hamsters. Shen, why would you put the tea in hamsters? What are the hamsters? I mean, the hamsters, they could deserve the tea. That'd be good. Which reminds me, I still haven't called... Um, Artie, a uh, the the son of a hamster. Your father was a hamster, and your mother smelled of oh, the other way around. Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelled of elderberries. I need to somehow get that reference in to Avalon tomorrow. Please don't sniff tea leaves. No, you don't sniff tea leaves. You sniff the ground tea, right? You got to do it right. Uh, where are science ships? Oh yeah, you're going an interesting way. Can you research this yet? No. You could smoke the tea. 
What next? Tea leaves is chewing tobacco. Hey, why not? Why not? Campaign is underway. Offworld Miner. And you can still influence with influence. I thought they might have changed that to like energy because you're bribing people. The True Democracy Group, Committee of the True Gospel. Both Awful Miners, Orbital Researcher, Awful Miner. I mean, there's a lot of Awful Miners going on. Um, I'm basically down with either of these. What have you got as perks? Weapon damage, army damage, Starbase, meh. Energy cut plus 10%. Happiness plus 5. Monthly unity plus 10. Starbase influence cost minus 15. I like you. Could totally support you. But also, I really don't care enough. I want to keep my influence. It's too valuable. What show do I have? I have a DX Racer. I was not sponsored by them. I did not get it for free. Um, I had to buy it. But they were quite nice. Uh, I, I don't... The reseller I got it through, I hate. Do not get anything from them. They are terrible people. They do not even apply by EU consumer guidelines. But DX Racer themselves, great people. Just be careful where you buy your products. Um, yeah, no... I, I had my back was starting to go because I had a terrible chair before this. Got this chair, back's fine. Haven't had a problem since. Oh yeah, also like you could influence to make the people like them or something. I don't know, but I was thinking you just bribe people with like energy. Because you know, bribery. Who is the reseller to avoid? Uh, the reseller to avoid actually don't stock them anymore because DX Racer stopped working with them. I got my chair from them uh, after DX Racer had pulled the contract, I believe, but they were selling off the final stock they had. And I got one that was slightly damaged. And then they said, oh, well, if you send it back to us, you have to pay postage. And I'm like, DX Racers are like 20 kilos. Like, they're heavy. More than that. Maybe 30 kilos. They're pretty heavy. I can't remember how much. Um, and then I was like, it's going to cost me like 40, 50, 60 quid or something for postage. No, because it's your broken product you need to pay and they wouldn't. Um, but DX Racer had actually stopped working with them. Like, they should have removed their uh, uh, branding and stuff from the website, but they didn't. So, because DX Racer told them to and they were like, eh, what are you going to do? Uh, negative impact on ethics reduction, that's good, but it's not necessary right now because my empire's pretty tight. Meh. Lead of lifespan increased by 20 years. Pretty useful. Paradise Dome. Also pretty good. I could grab Discovery. Begin to grab stuff like Science Survey, Ship Speed, Combat Evasion, blah, blah, blah. Diplomacy. We need people on a federation for that. Domination, also a possibility. I think we go lifespan. I do think we go lifespan. None of these super jump out at me, right? I think the issue is that I've got so used to using the expanded traditions tree that these are just like, none of them massively make me want to be like, I want this one. Prosperity is not a bad one. Like, straight up, having um, unity from Energy Grid and Energy Nexus is great. Mm. But I think for now, we will get the lead lifespan. Just avoid anyone dying. We'll get prosperity next time. People shouldn't die yet, though. But just in case. Mostly in case I forget to get it, and then people die, because then I would be like, ah, great. Updated. Okay, what's the new mandate? Why don't you tell me the mandate? Miner. Right. Got to find all the miners and hire them. Are you underage to be properly employed? Yes, sir. I'm only 12. Excellent. Get in the mine. But, sir, I'm only 12. 
You're a minor. It's a new mandate. Oh, no. There we go. Let's get that going. System survey complete. Yeah, I'm trying to save up for Consecrated Worlds, but I also desperately need the influence to expand. It'll be a little bit slower soon because we're coming up to bottlenecks. But I would like to consecrate like some of my bigger worlds because it's so good. Construction complete. Right. Uh, Frostbank flashbacks. Yeah, I can't wait for Frostbank. It's going to be so much fun being like, you, you child. Yes, sir. Get in the mine. Oh, no. Hey. Um. Right. So as much as I would like to continue going, uh, I will have to call it here because I do need to go and start a show in 45 minutes. And the actual curtain goes up in one hour 15. So that can be 45 minutes in which I've got to do all the things. Yay. It's been a busy day. It's been a very busy day. As my second side of the ship stopped moving, it has. Thank you. There we go. So uh, I will be off. Uh, of course, do come check out Roll For It. We'll be over at twitch.tv forward slash Roll For It. And we'll be starting in about an hour 15. Countdown will be on in 45 minutes. So thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe. And of course, until next time, stay shiny. Wrong button. That's the button I need. Bye. Oh, we should raid someone. Well, it's only 45 minutes. Eh, see you soon.